Don't listen to anyone who tells you size doesn't matter. When it comes to military machines, nothing is more important than size and power. Today, we're going to show you the biggest military vehicles ever created. There are no barriers for them. Watch to the end. You'll be amazed. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Thanks. The main characters from Hobbs and Shaw wouldn't have gotten into such a situation if they had chosen the Combat Guard as their transport. This four-wheel drive beast has an armored monocoque body made of all-welded steel, which isn't faced by bullets and explosive shells or even mines. Not even the Batmobile can say that. Plus, this 8-ton buggy can accelerate to 150 kilometers per hour and it can't be stopped by off-road conditions or drops of 1.5 meters. Even cars are just minor speed bumps. Because the Combat Guard can transport 8 people and another 1.5 tons of payload on a 70% grade. And if that's not enough, then a remote-controlled weapon station and active anti-missile defense system can be installed on it. The LARCLX is a 100-ton steel amphibious vehicle whose 3.2-meter wheels are bigger than the man in the photo. It's almost the size of a pool, 19 meters long, 8 meters wide, and 6 meters high, like a three-story building. But most importantly, it can carry a load equal to its own weight. Let's see what can fit inside it. A tank, an armored car, eight 12-ton containers, or even another 60-ton amphibious vehicle. And since the LARCLX can not only swim but also drive, it's better to just stay out of its way. It just hates these tiny cars. Do you imagine a flying ship seven stories high and with a wingspan of more than a football field? The rocket-powered ground-effect vehicle Loon really exists, and not in the Star Wars universe. It's 74 meters long and weighs as much as two atomic Godzillas, 243 tons. With that kind of mass, it's capable of lifting another 500 tons into the air. Astonishingly, the Loon can easily cover 2,000 kilometers at a speed of 500 kilometers per hour with such a load, which could decide the outcome of a naval battle. It can also fire six Mosquito missiles, each of which is capable of sinking an aircraft carrier. Everyone's heard of a nuclear suitcase, but how about a nuclear train? The Molodets Combat Railway Missile Complex looks like a regular train, but there are three intercontinental ballistic scalpel missiles hidden inside its cars. Each of them is 23.3 meters long and weighs 150 tons. Just one rocket can unleash the explosive power of 900 Hiroshima bombs at a distance of 10,000 kilometers. Imagine what all three missiles could do if launched at the same time. The nuclear missile cruiser Pyotr Veliki is the world's largest and most powerful battleship. This six-deck ship is 252 meters long and contains 20 kilometers of corridors. It's easy to misplace its three 13-meter K-27 helicopters and 40-meter-long tugboats look like toys next to the cruiser. As for waging war, the cruiser packs three PLCs, including a torpedo, 14 SAM systems for more than 200 missiles, including 20 anti-ship P-700 granite missiles weighing 7 tons each, the salvo of which can turn a city the size of New York into ruins in just half an hour. But the previous flagship is a dwarf compared to the world's largest aircraft carrier, the Gerald R. Ford. Like a giant Lego, it was assembled from half a thousand blocks, and that's just the foundation. It took nine years to build and cost $17.5 billion. That's more than enough to buy the Bahamas. The result is a floating fortress taller than the 93-meter-tall Statue of Liberty. It's 337 meters long and 78 meters wide. It has enough space to accommodate 90 fighters, 100 vehicles, and 4,660 personnel. Two nuclear reactors were required to move this vessel, enough to power every home in Hampton, Virginia. The tank with the largest dimensions ever put into service is the 70-ton Char-2C. 
Built over a century ago, this 10-meter giant is 4 meters high, like Shaquille O'Neal standing on Jason Momoa's head. The Char 2C was equipped with the most powerful cannon of its time, the 75mm gun, as well as three 8mm machine guns and 35mm armor, practically making it the god of war. It can withstand any shelling and literally punch through walls. Such a superpower could change the outcome of a battle, but the tank was only completed towards the end of the war. But the largest combat vehicle ever built is the Russian Tsar tank. It is a wheeled structure with a 12-meter hull secured between 9-meter front wheels that could easily overcome bumps and ditches and a 1.5-meter roller in the back. However, due to incorrect weight distribution, its entire weight fell on the rear roller, which became something more like an anchor. The tank had become a 60-ton monument to itself, so it was never admitted into service. What do Mickey Mouse and this giant tank have in common? Well, their name. The Germans found it amusing to name the 188-ton Panzerkampfwagen 8 Mouse in honor of the rodent. But just look at it in comparison to the famous T-34, the heavyweights Tiger 1 and Tiger 2, the Panzer 7 Leva, and the Panzer 9. This 10-meter tank weighs as much as 100 pickups and is 3.6 meters high, which is like six Ford F-Series two layers deep. It's no surprise that bridges couldn't bear the weight of such a colossus, and it often became an easy target at crossings. Not to mention, the mouse only moved at a pace of just 19 kilometers an hour. Here are some big MI6 helicopters, and here is their daddy, a super huge 40 meter MI26 T2V helicopter, whose height is a whole eight meters. You could play basketball inside as the cabin is 3.1 meters from floor to ceiling, which is higher than an NBA basketball hoop. There's also room to run. The cabin is 34 meters long and 3.2 meters wide. They could have filmed the sequel to Space Jam here. But the main feature of the MI-26 T2V is its ability to lift a load twice its own weight of 28 tons. It can easily transfer an 80-seat TU-134 or a group of paratroopers in their vehicles to any spot on the planet. The number of times it has evacuated a 30-meter Boeing CH-47 Chinook out of Afghanistan is countless. When you first see the 70-ton Mi-12 Homer, it looks like a couple of helicopters landed on its wings. And that's true. Well, yes. To lift the 70-ton, 37-meter-long, five-story high Colossus, the designers attached 35-meter propellers from an Mi-6 to the sides of the Mi-12. What can it do with them? We'll carry a tank, a truck, and ICBMs, a 44-ton load in the cargo bay. Or lift the load on suspension while comfortably accommodating 240 people in the cabin. But nothing in the world beats the 2160, known in NATO as the Blackjack. It is the largest and heaviest nuclear bomber in the world, which is also capable of reaching an altitude of 16,000 kilometers into the stratosphere while traveling twice the speed of sound, all on account of its 46 world records. Look at how gracefully the 2160 avoids interception by an F-35. It's hard to imagine that its dual bomb bays have a capacity of 45 tons, which usually translates to 12 Kent homing missiles, and with a range of 12,000 kilometers, it's capable of striking anywhere in the USA or Europe. Is someone lost here? This is the Zuber, the largest military hovercraft in existence. At one time, it can transport three tanks with their crews, 10 armored personnel carriers, and 140 paratroopers, all while moving at the speed of a racing bike 300 kilometers an hour. This is possible because the Zuber is equipped with three 5.5 meter propellers from the legendary 295. So if it's delivering pizza to you, it'll still be hot. Pizza time. Even if it runs out of water to hover on, no problem. The Zuber can go over land. But you shouldn't go out on deck because an attempt to ride the breeze will end like this for you. Do you know what can be produced at 200 factories at the same time? The largest submarine in the world. 
It's named Typhoon by NATO with a native name Akula, which means shark. This 172 meter nuclear missile launching pad is 24 meters wide and 27 meters tall, so two Ural 4320s can easily be deployed on it. In fact, these are two submarines in one body. But despite the size of the Akula, it is very maneuverable and can overcome any obstacle. It can easily break through 2.5 meter Arctic ice. For what? Well, to control half the world, even from the most inaccessible points of Earth, with the help of 20 Bulava ballistic missiles. Each one can fly 11,000 kilometers in any direction, meaning it can cover the whole hemisphere. But the Akula is nothing but a minnow in comparison to the Megalodon Yamato. 263 meter Japanese battleship. Seeing a 72,000 ton armored monster many times larger than a missile cruiser rush across the sea was enough to cause people to freeze in terror. It's no wonder since it surpassed even the famous 190 meter independence in size. To sink the Yamato, it took three raids of 227 American aircraft. Only after being hit by 24 aerial bombs and aircraft torpedoes did it explode and sink, throwing out a two kilometer high column of smoke. This is Bruce Banner's vehicle from the Avengers, but a transport for the Hulk is the world's largest SUV taken from Willys from the 40s and enlarged by 800%. Its one 6.4 meter wheel, which costs $40,000, is no more than a modern Jeep in cost or size. Look at the host of BBC's Top Gear behind the wheel of this monster. You can fit a whole family behind its grill. And on this largest treasure in Arab Sheikh Kamad El Nayan's car collection, we'll wrap it up for today. Write in the comments which behemoth impressed you the most. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.